let's say you're standing on top of a thousand, thousand meter cliff and you're about to step off. So it's natural that you don't want to do that. But to be able to overcome that fear is something that I find really fascinating, to, to conquer the fear of the body and do something unnatural. But it's kind of like that feeling of you're <laughs> the protagonist in a, in a science fiction movie. Because it feels like everything around you is going in slow motion and your senses are being broadened. You can feel more, you, you smell more, you can see better. It's like you're, everything is, is going a full power. And so as you're f falling down next to the cliff, you can actually see a little bird taking off next to you and flying down with you. And you, you take all these impressions in at the same time. And I mean, it's, it's just a magic feeling. And I don't know anything that I can compare it with. If I was going to be able to stay positive, I had to, first of all, I had to decide what is it that makes me happy in life. You know, I had to know what makes me happy in my everyday life. Not like the vacation kind of happy that you can look forward to, that is somewhere out in, in front of you, but every day. So in the morning when I woke up, every morning, I started asking myself, okay, what is it that I look forward to today? What is it that will be fun, that, I'm, that will you know, make me happy today? One of the really important things in my life was that after my accident, no one had expectations of me, not even myself. And so anything that I would do would be good because I, it wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to be alive. I wasn't supposed to start walking. I was never supposed to be skiing. So everything that I did, even putting my socks on, was good. And to realize that no one has expectations of you, for a while, it's actually quite liberating. I'm sorry to tell you, I'm not that goal-driven anymore. You know, I'm, I think there's a time for goals, and I love goals, I mean, don't get me wrong, but I think there's also a time for just enjoying what you've achieved and, you know, just making the best of it. And right now, I don't really have those big goals anymore. I think that now I'm just more purpose-driven. I think that I've found my purpose. My purpose is, being able to use my story, my experiences, and hopefully be able to inspire other people to believe in themselves. And to be able to be a part of that, it's really inspirational for me. I think that's it.